Hey guys, welcome back to Chord Hub and today I'm going to teach you the chords of the song In The End by the Linkin Park. And before anything else, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button and notification bell below because every day we're going to upload a new tutorial. Okay, so let me start by saying that this song is an actually an E flat major. Okay, then we're going to have a almost bar chords then for the benefit of those uh, beginners we're going to simplify the chords and move the tune to a lower one so we're going to have a D minor uh, first chord but for those who want to play this song in the original tune you can have a cap over here and the chords are still the same okay let's start by this the in by this the intro Actually, this is a very simple one. Just start here at the D string, the fifth fret, okay, and then two over here at the seventh fret of the fourth string, and then here, then down, then back to D. So the first chord of the verse is D minor. So the D minor has a D bass. So, so it means you don't have to intro these two over here. And then for here, start at the second at the third fret of the second string, and then here. Second fret of the third string, and then here. This three. That's the first chords, and next is this C, C major. Start at the C bass, then here, and then at the first fret of the second string. The bass of C is this one, so you don't need to include this one over here. Next is a B flat. A B flat is just like this, but we're going to simplify this one, and then. We have this one. So we'll start at the third fret of the fourth string, all the way down to the second string. Okay, just clip this string. Then you have a B flat. And back to C. So that's the chords for first, so we'll play it. That's it for the uh, verse guys, you have just to repeat the four chords all the way to the chorus. And for strumming pattern for the be for beginners, it is advisable that you use the downwards. Because eventually, your strumming skill will be developed. But of course, I'm going to teach you a more advanced way of strumming this song. So I'll show it to you. Okay, slower. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, and then. So that's the for this that's the entire cycle of the strumming pattern. Again, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. Then change chord. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. And back to C. Okay. So we're, we 
we will proceed to chorus. The chorus of chorus is D minor. Then next is an F. But we're going to simplify this one to a F major 7. Or you can have this one clip over here. But you can have also this. If you're having a hard time clipping this one. That's an F. Next is a C. And then B flat. Okay, again for chorus. Try so After the chorus, we will proceed to bridge. So the bridge has two parts. The first part is a more mellow one. And the chords are still the same with the chorus. Put my trust. the second part of the bridge a full band so same with the first but this time we're going to have an F and then a C and a B flat okay I pull my track. Then after that, we're going to have an outro. The outro, of course, is still the same. A D minor, a C, a B flat, and a C again. So that's it, guys, for the chords of In the End by Linkin Park. And I hope you like the tutorial. Thank you.